Hey guys, and welcome back to another train simulator video. Welcome aboard a trial Gavik Express service from London Bridge to Brighton running at service 1B17. Today this service called the Gavik Airport in Brighton only, you may open the doors, thank you very much. And enjoy, obviously. Okay, let's open the doors and let the passengers aboard. Going to forward, there's some lights, Put the wipers on because it's pissing down with rain. Typical British weather. And let's get a nice screenshot. There we go, nicely done. Oops, sorry about that. We've got a class 455 on the left hand side, we've got a class 170 in the background, so yeah. I do want to check out these trains, but it's a bit laggy at London Bridge, so I'll just stick, in the, stick inside the cab for now. For some reason the Armstrong powerhouse sounds not working for me now, so I'm not too sure why. Because I do have it uh, installed and all that, so I'm not too sure why it's not working now. Anyways, so I'm going to be departing at 10.12 in London Bridge, stopping at Gatwick Airport at 10.40 and picking up passengers at Brighton at 11.14. And we should see a bunch of AI. Southeastern services, class 455, southern services, Bimsling services as well. If you actually look at the map, there's a lot of service that you can see. <coughs> we got that service, Dartford to London, Cannon Street. There's London Bridge, a bunch of trains coming in and out of London Bridge. Very nice to see. Yeah, we should be able to depart very soon. Okay, there we go. Next station is Gatwick Airport, scheduled arrival 10.40 and departure 10.42. The timetable for the service is quite relaxed, so you may arrive early depending on how, how you drive. Okay then. Let's get going. Turn down the graphic settings quite a bit, uh, it's still lagging, so I do apologize for this. Unfortunately, this is how train simulator is always going to be, anyway. But hopefully, London Bridge and the South London Network can come to train some world, and then it might be a little bit more um, stable on train some world. We are driving a 12 car train as you can see. Really nice. Quite a long train actually. Yeah. <laughs> believe me we'll go up to 60 miles an hour in a minute. So yeah, we are taking a trial service from L London Bridge to Brighton. Now normally Gavik Express services go from London Victoria to Brighton but London Bridge to Brighton is a bit shorter of a journey so in theory it would make more sense to do our uh, Gavik Express services from London Bridge because skips Clapham Junction goes straight towards East Croydon then Gavik Airport and Brighton so yeah. You have a double yellow signal flashing. And we are racing the southeastern service, obviously. Oops. Did the wrong button there. That southeastern service will go towards the left hand side. I believe, yeah. I 
don't think we're gonna be following another train because this is a fast Gamma Express service anyway, so. Should be a clear run, hopefully. Unfortunately, Southeastern Service is beating us because he has a green signal and we got a yellow signal, so we got to be careful. And there's a class 455 there coming from probably London, Victoria by uh, South Bermondsey. I think the station is, that is over there, I believe. Speed limit's going down, so we're actually gonna be speeding. Oops, my bad. Maybe we should be paying a bit more attention. <laughs> Oops, no, that's okay. And we're switching tracks again. And we've got a green team on the side, that's good. Let's quickly check the map and see where we are. That's going towards depth, but that part of it isn't in the game, unfortunately. But maybe in the future. Stopping there, obviously. We should see some uh, class 378s London Overground soon. Between New Cross Gate and just before uh, Norwood Junction, actually. Yeah. I think that's where the London All Ground services go towards um, Dalston Junction and uh, Hyperion Islington. Oh, we're speeding again, whoops. I think we're going to be speeding a lot in this uh, scenario because I'm not really paying attention much. And there's a beautiful Class 378 departing New Cascade. Got class 377 on the right hand side, and we are going to be overtaking that class 378, so that's going to be cool. I actually take a nice screenshot with the class 378 anyway, so let's do that. service coming out of the way so that's fine. Very nice. And we should be overtaking this one. Now that train is probably going to uh, Crystal Palace as you can see from the front of the train. We could have also gone to um, West Croydon too. But yeah, we are going uphill now, so I'll give some throttle on. Our ETA is 10 phase 7, so at this moment in time, we are early. Last four, five, five. But yeah, Dovetail Games have announced some um, big news, and the big news is Train Simulator 2018 is coming out. Now, I'm a bit surprised 
because of this because they did mention Train Simulator 27 was going to be the last Train Simulator game and they were going to continue um, making DLC for Train Simulator until obviously more DLC comes for Train Simulator but I guess they are going to be making Train Simulator 2018 I do believe um, it is going to be just a UI update and some new routes or two existing routes and one new route because they have already announced one new route that's going to be coming to Train Simulator 18 which is going to be really really cool so one thing they could do with the UI for Train Simulator is make it similar to Train Sim World because the Train Sim World UI is very nice and I think it works a lot better with um, more than one route so hopefully they do that for Train Simulator 2018 but apart from that, it's going to be, obviously, to get more people to buy the game, basically. People see Train Simulator 2018, they'll think, oh, there's, there's a brand new game coming out. But really, it's just a bit of UI update, and they just want to sell the new DLC and make more, more money, I guess. Which could help for Train Simulator, so maybe that's why they're doing it. Go to a class 3, 7, 8. But yeah, uh, the new route they are going to be releasing is uh, the Northwest Coastal route. It's actually a pretty cool route actually because we already got the Southwest Coastal in the game. We've actually got two routes in the Southwest Coastal actually. Obviously the default one and then the one between Swansea and Cardiff, which I don't actually own yet, so I should get that very soon before the North Wales Coastal route comes out. So yeah, I think so the route goes from crew to another station which I can't pronounce or say, so you can go to the Facebook page and check it out for yourself if you want. But crew is coming to the game, so that's big news. One of I think a station that a lot of people want in the game anyway, so that's gonna be really cool to see. Now potentially they could uh, extend the West Coast Mainland Trend Valley route to our uh, crew station because a lot of scenarios with the West Coast Mainland Trend Valley routes are, are services between crew and Don Houston and Houston to crew, so potentially they could extend that route to our uh, Stafford maybe, not Stafford sorry, crew, so that's a famous service. So essentially you can um, potentially drive from rugby all the way to crew instead of just rugby to Stafford which would be a lot nicer. Drive a bit more of the west coast main line which is nice to see. And there's another class uh, famous thing train, interesting. arriving at Norwood Junction. Change here for Southern Services, London Overground, Thameslink Services, but not with this train because we're not going to be stopping here unfortunately so sorry about that. And we should be approaching East Croydon in around two to three miles from here. We're not actually going to be stopping at East Croydon which is a bit of a surprise. This is a Gebbik Express, so no surprise there. As busy as East Croydon Station is, then this train doesn't need to stop there anyway, so... But yeah, one of the new routes for Train Simulator 2018 is the North Wales Coastal, and one thing they're going to be doing is adding one of the South West Coastal routes as well with the uh, DLC package for Train Simulator 2018 because it does kind of make sense having the North Wales Coastal and the South Wales Coastal in the same package and the last route will be interesting because if they did do that then they can only like add one more uh, DLC or two more and it would make more sense if they release maybe a, a new French route or like an existing one or maybe a new German or new, 
American route or something like that. So I'm hoping it's just uh, four UK routes. So I'm not really interested in American routes or um, German routes. A French route would be pretty good because we only had have one uh, French route in the game, so that would be pretty cool. Maybe they'll add the Eurostar in the game. That would be pretty cool, you know, if that happens. But yeah, we're approaching East Croydon. Same thing service there, left hand side is the southern service. No idea, that, no idea where that train's going to. Could be the same train I take to from Clapham Junction to Harrow and Wilson, maybe. I haven't actually announced when Train Simulator 2018 is coming out, so when they do, I will let you guys know. Or you might see my first video on it if it's coming out very soon. For me, I'm not too sure if they're going to release it this year because they normally release it around August, September time, and it's already October, end of October now, so I'm not too sure what they're going to be doing in terms of release time. It would be a bit weird if they released it during Christmas time. Which I really wouldn't mind because that would be pretty cool. It's a new uh, train simulator DLC to play during the Christmas period. Okay, speed is going up to 90 miles an hour very soon, which is good. And we just got just above 15 miles away from Gilbert Airport. I think how many miles away from Brighton? 39, so still quite away from Brighton. But that should go pretty quick once we've increased our speed to uh, 90 miles an hour. One thing I did forget to mention is that this scenario was made by one of my subscribers. I did tell him to make a scenario on this route with this train, so thank you for him for making it. And if you are wondering what this uh, scenario is called, it's called uh, Express Replacement. Yeah, Express, Express Replacement. So if you type that in Steam Workshop, it will come up. station Could if there's a speed set in this train. I actually had to change this to 12 because we're driving a 12 car train. And on the lights because it is a bit dark and a bit gloomy today. Yeah, I don't think there's a speed set in this train. But there is a speed set. Okay then. Let me try it.
We're actually gonna go over these tracks, which is kind of cool. Bye. We have 387s as AI, we have 387s, Fameslink trains as AI as well, and obviously 377s, so yeah. Okay, I'll be speeding. Just on, on, under 8 miles away from Kevin Airport, so. We'll probably get a speed limit change very soon. Fainting service. I did tell my the guy who made the scenario to add a, as much AI as possible. So it's quite a lot of AI, which is kind of nice to see. Well, speed limit change to 80 and then 90. Interesting. So let's just get off the troll for now. Tunnel we go. And yeah, we need to put a little bit of break in because we don't be stopping on the 80 miles now in time. There we go. We are actually really really early so I'm just gonna travel like around 70 miles an hour. There's only like 10 32 and we only got like 5 miles away from Gabriel Airport, so... We're gonna reach it pretty early, which I don't really want to do, so... Some worlds where you look at the map and just actually label a station. This game does. It's quite quite ironic, actually. But yeah, we'll coast into Gateway Airport because if we arrive too early, then we have to wait at the Gateway Airport for like four or five minutes, which I don't really want to do. We'll wait for the ETA to go around maybe 30, 39. There's a class 442 Gavik Express. That's nice. 
nice to see. I know that the class 460 is out, but unfortunately I don't know how to get it started, so... I might have to read the manual properly before I buy it again. And I do want to buy that train, that's for sure. It's a really nice train and... Some pretty cool uh, workshop scenarios in the game. Yeah, just three and a half miles away to the airport. So this reskin you can get from Super Alps if you're wondering. This scenario also uses the class 387 Fims Link uh, reskin from the same website as well, so make sure you download that. It does use a class 375, so you do have to own that to uh, get a reskin. Pretty nice. Get the Express. I really like this train actually. It makes sense that the Gabriel Express is with a class 387. I like that it's uh, bright red. It makes it really stand out, and the uh, white obviously are uh, livery writing, which looks really nice. And I think most times it's like an eight car train at least for giving express services. I think peak time is probably 12 car train I'm guessing. I think that's a fending service. It looks white so it must be. Yes it is. Unfortunately, there's no class 700s in this game because there aren't any, unfortunately. <laughs> I, what I meant to say is there's no class 700s in this scenario, but there's none in the game anyway, so... There's no way it could be added as AI. But I think somebody is making it, so yeah, who knows. Can't wait until that happens. That would be pretty cool to see. Class 377, very nice. Yeah, I guess we went there, but the ETA is around 38 now, so I'll be about one, two minutes early, which is okay. I don't want to find myself being late, so. I could travel around 50 miles now, coming to get the airport, platform 5. I believe Holy Station's coming first though, this is the Holy Station. I'm pretty sure it's Holy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And we can obviously watch the train pass by while we're here. Uh, it should say Holy here somewhere. Where's a station sign on this station anyway? I'm not seeing any station sign. This station isn't even labeled. Is it? Oh, no. I don't think this station is even labeled, guys. That is our holy station. As it will show on the map. As you can see, holy station. And we're coming into Gebbett Airport. See another fame thing service stopping there. I'm quite impressed by the amount of AI in the snow actually. Like one after another, you know, every like 
10, 20 seconds, you see another AI, which is really, really cool to see. Probably more AI than it would be in real life at this time of the day, but anyways. This is a game after all, anyways. I don't think you can fit a troll car train to get me airport, so. I have overrun it slightly. The front doors you can't open, obviously. And the rear doors you can't open as well, but you can't fit a tr you can only fit a turn car train at Gabby Airport, which is a bit surprising. Just a nice screenshot. Very nice. Oops, wrong button, there we go. So yeah, this is a passenger view for the Gabby Express. In a beautiful uh, red livery. I'm guessing he's Poles are blue in real life as well, I'm guessing. I haven't actually been in Gabby Express Class 3 7 before, so I wouldn't really know. And obviously this is all blurred out because it's a pretty old train is using. And I can see a 377 is there? Yeah, there it is. That's very nice. And just as that arrives, the Fimting service departs. Now this train going to Portsmouth, so it's probably going via three bridges towards Horsham and all the way to Portsmouth. So we should be going first, because it will need to cross tracks once we get to pass three bridges. So we'll go via Horsham towards Portsmouth. And we should be departing very soon. It looked like that train was moving slightly forward. That was a bit weird. Can't really see any planes in the sky because it's so dull and gloomy today. That's okay. Actually, we're debating at 42, right? Yeah, 42. I've already been debating at 41. And there's a film thing, so. No, it's Gary Express. Nice. And I believe this is a 12 car train as well, yeah? This is. It looks really long, so it must be a 12 car train, right? Yeah, if he can't fit his train on the platform, then there's no way that we can fit our train. Yeah. Yeah, look, the last, the back doors can't be open, obviously. If it hasn't already, the 1A43 will now terminate Preston Park due to electrical faults. I'm guessing this train's stopping at Preston Park now instead of um, Portsmouth, I'm guessing. I'm assuming that's the train he's talking about. But anyways, we're going to be going to Brighton now, which is only 24 miles away. ET currently is 11.10, so we're around three minutes early, which is okay.
30 minutes to uh, reach Brighton. So in theory, we should be around five to six minutes early, I'm guessing. Especially when you're traveling at 90 miles an hour for most of the journey. They increase the speed limit on the right to make land to maybe like 100 miles an hour at least. 110, that would be pretty cool. But I think these class 377s only go up to 100 miles an hour. 387s actually go to 110, so. They could switch the 377s for class 387s. Which is pretty much the same train anyway, so. So this is three bridges and towards the right inside branch line goes towards Horsham by, by Horsham towards um, places like Portsmouth and Hampton I guess. miles away from Brighton now and let's go into another tunnel which is great oops not yet um, up to 90 miles an hour yet there we go here and led to Hamilton and Eastbourne to London Victoria so it's coming another way. So basically this train uh, when it goes to uh, East Eastbourne and uh, what's the other station called? Little, Little Hampton I think it was? Let me check. Yeah Little Hampton so basically that train splits off at Horsh uh, not Horsham sorry at Hayward's Heath and basically the two trains are the, Splits up basically half half. So I'm guessing when it comes back to us, London Victoria, maybe the Eastbourne service comes first, then the Little Hampton comes after, then the two trains join together, and then that whole train goes towards um, London Victoria, I guess. I guess that makes sense, but that's the, what they do when they go to uh, split off at Hayward's Eve anyway, so that's nice to know. It'll be pretty cool to do that in this game. Unfortunately, both of those are uh, branch lines not in the game. Especially Eastwood, because that's never going to come in the game, I don't think. Little Hampton is going to come because UK Root Designs is making 
the Southern Lines route, which is which goes from Victoria to Southampton Central, Portsmouth, Brighton. We've got a Waterloo to Portsmouth uh, uh, line as well. It's pretty cool. We've got the Little Hampton branch, the old branch lines as well, which is awesome. Famous bridge. is getting a little bit less as we get to Brighton which you would kind of expect because you would expect more AI towards uh, London area anyway so but it should slightly pick up as we get towards uh, Brighton anyway so There's no free on freeze in this scenario because that's an Armstrong powerhouse train even though it's available on Steam I don't actually own that version and my friend doesn't own it either, so he couldn't add it as an AI. At Brighton, and I believe this is Hayward's Heath. I think. It looks like Hayward's Heath. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Hayward's Heath station, looks like it. We should see some yellow signals now because we're quite early. Hopefully it's, it's just yellow signals now. That should be good. We could potentially be following another train. That's a yellow signal and then there's a red signal, so we might have to slow down quite a bit now. Change the yellow in the last second, nice. Uh, just what I wanted. <laughs> yeah, we're really early actually. I guess it's gonna be a bit of a delayed journey to Brighton, I guess. Another red signal, okay then, so... I feel like we're around 5 to 8 minutes early, which is quite a lot. If 
I thought we should just stop at the station. We are pretty early. You know, ETA says 11 tensile, which I kind of, kind of think is false. And let's just stop here. What station is this anyway? Wivel's Fields, nice. It's a lot of fields, that's for sure. We must be following an. Oh, is that another train? That's our train, whoops. That train was so long, that's why. So, where does this branch line go towards? Um, This goes to Luz. Okay then. Okay, we're following this train basically, the bed for the Brighton service, 840. And it's quite close to us as well, so... Is that Preston Station? Oh, that's Hassox. Yeah, we're gonna be probably waiting here for quite a bit. I'll just wait a little bit actually. We're quite close to that train in front of us, so we're here, and that train's just over here. And I don't believe there's any other trains in front of it. And Brighton's here. And towards this side is obviously towards Worthing, towards Littlehampton, and... Places like Southampton Central and Portsmouth. And towards this side is towards, uh, what do you call it? Eastbourne. Okay, let's depart though. I feel like we slowed enough now, but we'll see. With the, um, I think that train is probably going the same speed as us. It's obviously full speed, I'm guessing. I never knew there was a branch line towards this side, you know. I never knew that. That's like all the times I played on this uh, bright main, and I, I never su suspect that there was a branch line there. Pretty funny actually. I think about it. I've probably done maybe like 50 plus scenarios on this route, so. I've played this route quite a bit. Maybe we should go 50 miles now instead. It would be cool if you could see how fast the train ahead of us is going. If this, if this radio actually works, it would be pretty useful, but it doesn't. Okay, it does change green, so I think around 55 to 60 should be okay. And that train must be going just a bit faster than us, I'm guessing. So if you go 60 miles an hour, as we approach that yellow sign, it should change to green. So let's try it. Let me know how fast we have to go. Okay, we can go a bit fast actually. Maybe 65. Let's try 50. Maybe sixty two and a half, <laughs> probably. That's a yellow, so yeah, it's gonna be faster, why not? So we're 
here and oops, oh, the camera went all over the place there. This is AWS to sell signal first. Actually, never mind. Let's go on anyway. Let's see, that's the 840 bed for the Brighton, so yeah. And it's now 1058, so it's quite a long journey from in Bedford to um, Brighton. And it stops at I don't, I don't, pretty much all the stops anyway on the line, so. It's kind of like Milton Keynes Central to East Croydon. That should change to green, I think. Maybe. Or not. There we go. It's almost 11 o'clock, so we got still 14 minutes to reach there. To a castle looking tunnel, which looks really nice actually. There's like an entrance to a castle actually. I don't think that same thing service will be stopping at Preston Park, but if it is, then we might get a red signal very soon. We're only five miles away from Brighton and Preston Mark is like around a mile and a half away from Brighton, so yeah. train must be coming towards um, right very soon so it'll be slowing down while we'll, we'll still be going 63 miles an hour so we'll probably encounter yellow signals till Brighton most likely Even at this speed we're getting yellow signals, so yeah. The train, train's probably going the same speed as us, or just a bit slower, maybe. The train should be at Preston Park by now, at least. That's not it. Uh, yeah, that's Pre is that Preston Park? Yeah, it's just approaching Preston Park now. And Brighton is just down here. A little bit faster, 50 miles now. Probably not the best idea, but oh well. And we should be approaching Preston Park very soon. I have that train gone into Brighton. Yeah. 
Nope, it's going really slow. It's just coming into Brighton now. And we've got Brighton London Bridge service departing. So we're going to platform 5, which is over here, which is empty. So we should be good to go once that train's gone to its own platform. Hopefully it's not platform 5, then we have to actually wait for that train to go to Brighton and then leave Brighton. Which would be a bit annoying. Only two miles away from Brighton though. Pretty close. I think speed is 25 or something like that at that point, so that's probably why. Class 377. Yep, that's a red red signal, that's our fault. There's a guy that gets rest there. Probably going to back towards uh, London Bridge, I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll probably have to wait a bit. Like, Preston Park has a troll car train marker, but Gabby Airport doesn't, which is a bit surprising. Yeah, we're not gonna open doors because this is not our stop. Nice screenshot. Let's go into London Victoria. Oh, we're doing a special Gavik Express from London Bridge to Brighton. Yep, still gonna be red. It's gonna be red probably around. Four or five minutes, I'm guessing at least. Now, hopefully, it's not because that would be a bit of a long wait. So, where's that 840 train gone? Um, is it on a, uh, there's no train on the platform at Brighton, that's interesting. Um, I'm not too sure. I don't see it. Oh, here it is. It's a stop there. Oh, that train's waiting for another train, that's why. It's waiting for this train. So, we have to wait. This train's waiting for this train, and we have to wait for that train. Wow. Okay, then. You know, you, you might as well go and see what's happening anyway. So there should be a filming service on just in front of us. So yeah, we were basically waiting for this train, but this train is waiting for that other train. This train will go to Brighton and then we're going to be going to Brighton then. Yep, we've got the other signal so let's keep going. As soon as that train arrives at Brighton station then we should be good to go. Platform 5. Services from Victoria can go towards that side, towards Portsmouth. Instead of going all the way to Brighton and turning around and going from Brighton all the way to Portsmouth instead of that. And of course going via Horsham as well. 
Cody would do anyway. So if this next signal is green, then we're good to go. Now I'm guessing it's going to be a red signal 100% because... Yep, red signal. You're right. Good now. Actually, we're good to go. Nice. I don't feel like we should be able to go, but it's allowing us, so I guess we are allowed to go. You can clearly see how long our train is. It's just. Crazy. And we're coming to Brighton Station. Very nice. Only been to Brighton a few times. Once on a Fainting train and once on a subway service. And that's about it. Approaching Brighton where this train terminates. Now I'm pretty sure a troll car train will fill uh, Brighton. Now it's currently 11 10, so around 3 to 4 minutes early, so we should be okay. We shouldn't be waiting for too long, I guess. There we go, perfect. Let's wait for this guy to go, then get a screenshot. There you go. Nice, you don't got another class 387 on the other side, probably doing a return journey. Yeah, this is a Brighton station. It's been a long time since I've been to Brighton, so I'm pretty sure most of it has changed. We got all these boards, which looks really blurry. I wish you could read this. That would be nice to see. And these tracks are for the class 313s that goes towards here and Little Hampton and Portsmouth. The shuttle service, I want to call them. And they basically go towards that side. Oh, well done. You have completed the scenario successfully. Thank you very much. Give it a like. Why not? We were speeding twice, but that's okay. And yeah, I'll end the video there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, share it with friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.